Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So here's another deck profile for you guys today. This time's on Chaos Thunder Dragons. So as y'all know, this deck got a major boost with the new two Chaos cards involving Chaos Creator, um, Chaos Space, and now Chaos Valkyria. So I just wanted to show you guys my own take of the Chaos Thunder strategy and just, yeah, basically show you what I got. All right, so let's go and get started. So the main deck's 40 cards, uh, starting off with three copies of Thunder Dragon Roar. So if this card is discarded, you can add a Thunder Dragon that's from that's banished or in your graveyard back to your hand. Or if this card is banished, you get to special summon a Thunder Dragon from your deck in defense mode. So it's really good, but you also have to return that Thunder Dragon monster back to your hand at the end of the turn. Now keep in mind, this is for all the Thunder Dragon monsters. Um, you can only use one of their effects once per turn and only once that turn. So just bear that in mind. Don't try to misplay or anything like that. Uh, next, three Thunder Dragon Dark. So you can discard this card to add another copy of itself from your deck to your hand, or if it's banished, you can add a Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand. So yeah, really an amazing card. Uh, definitely synergizes super well with the Lure of Darkness, so that's why I love it. Three of the OG Thunder Dragon. So you can discard this card to add up to two copies of the same card to your hand. And this actually works pretty well because of the fact that it's a light monster, you know, the fact that you have chaos monsters to work with, it just like, they all like work simultaneously well with one another one another plus this is also important to your strategy because you need to bring out the original twin head of thunder dragon to go into some rank eight place so we'll get to that we'll get into more of that later on uh next two hawk uh so this is basically your monster reborn and your magical mallet depending on how well it's used so yeah nothing really to explain there uh two matrix i still like to run the two uh, one Thunder Dragon Duo. I'm not running Thunder Dragon Lord. It's all right, but it's not really necessary. So that's why I'm only running the one Duo instead. So yeah, that, that's really all I can say about that. And everyone already knows what Duo does. All right. Uh, for the main normal summons, I'm running two copies of Battery Man Solar, as well as two copies of Aloof Lupine. It's basically Gold Sark, so that's the only reason why I'm running it. And again, has really good synergy. So definitely one of your best starters. All right, now moving on to the Chaos Engine. Two copies of Chaos Valkyra cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special, well, must be special summoned by either banishing one light or one dark from your grave. Then you can special summon this card. If this card is banished, you can send one light or dark monster from your deck to the grave. But for the rest of this turn, you cannot activate cards or effects of that card of the same name. So, but overall, she's really good. Again, she's just a good way to get you started and a really powerful extender overall. Um, running one of each of the uh, baby dragons, white dragon wyvern burster, one black dragon collapser. Again, they're just extenders, so really amazing. And now for the big boy chaos monsters, I'm actually running one copy of the chaos creator. I was tempted to run two, but I think one is perfectly fine. Uh, like most of the big ones, you just banish one light and one dark. And um, also, you can target three banished monsters with different names, special summon them, but then place the rest at the bottom of the deck in any order. So like, it's kind of like a pseudo pantheism. So like, yeah, like you just special summon one and then just uh, restore the rest. So like really good card, it, it, it gets really amazing. It gets some, some of the combos like going like fast. So yeah, Chaos Creator, definitely something to look into. Uh, one Chaos Emperor, you know, I ha I just love this card. So I, I, I had to make room for him. And then lastly, one copy of Chaos Dragon Leviner. I wanted to run BLS, but there just wasn't enough room. So I decided to just run these three. All right, now for hand traps, three Valor. I was gonna run in permanence, but again, Valor is just really good because you know, the fact that it's a light monster, you definitely need more light and dark monsters together. So that's the only reason. Uh, two Dimension Shifter, didn't have room for the third. And plus you, most of the time after I spring one, it's always dead afterwards. So I just used the other one for Allure Darkness Fodder. So yeah, definitely a good going second card, but I don't think it's needed at three in this deck. All right, spells. Um, Actually, that's all I have left. It's just spells, and it's just only 10 of them. Uh, three Chaos Space. So you send one light or dark monster from your hand or to the graveyard and add one light or dark monster that cannot be normal summoned or set from your deck to your hand with a level from 4 to 8. And with this, with a different attribute as the monster that you, that you sent. So pretty good. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your banished light or dark monsters that cannot be normal summoned or set. Place that monster to the bottom of the deck, and then you get to draw one card. You can only use each effect of Chaos Space once per turn. So Chaos Space is pretty nuts. I just love what this card offers. It's actually something that the Chaos Monsters need. 
Uh, three Allure Darkness, so pretty self-explanatory. It's draw power. Two Thunder Dragon Fusion. I, it's it's searchable and recurrable, so yeah, I, I didn't feel the need to really uh, to run three. One Gold Sark, and then last but not least, one Upstar Goblin. All right, so now moving on to the extra deck. All right, so the extra deck is vastly different than I had it originally, but overall, you're still going to be running three copies of Thunder Dragon Titan. This is one of your big boys. He pops everything as long as you discard a Thunder Dragon monster, so it triggers, and it's not a hard one per turn, and he has built-in protection, too. One original twin to Thunder Dragon, you know, just the, the fact that it's a level 8 monster, it's just really good for rank 8 spam, which comes to our next cards. Uh, one number 38, and one Dingirsu. Dingirsu is highly unfair, so... I figured, why not? Uh, for Link's one Predator Plant, Verity Anaconda, it helps you dump that Thunder Dragon Fusion. Link Karibo, Cross Sheep, uh, one IP Mascarena. If you don't have access to this, you know, you could run any other generic Link 2 monster like some Summer Summoner, or it's, or just run more Nightmare monsters like Nightmare Unicorn. I'm running BLS, uh, just cause, you know, why not? You could just replace this with a Rank 8 if you can't afford them either. Unchained Abomination is vastly budgeted, so, Honestly, you could probably run multiple of these. You could also run Sorry, Just Sculptured if you wanted to. Uh, I'm running Avermax and Appaloosa. And that's pretty much it for my uh, extra deck. And Appaloosa is getting a reprint, so don't panic. All right, now moving on to the side deck. Side deck's a little different. Uh, running three copies in the Biru, you know, pretty obvious. Two Danko Seca for back row heavy strategies. I was going to run it at three, but... Uh, it's searchable also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, through Thunder Dragon Duo, so that's kind of the only reason why I'm, I'm not. Uh, two Artifacts side, yeah, I'm running the Artifact Engine. One Moral Attack, uh, of course, Artifact Sanctum, just to lock out to your opponent from using the extra deck. Also running one Macro Cosmo. It definitely uh, synergizes pretty well with this deck too, So, but it's a one of, so that's why I'm only running it in the side. And then for back removal, three copies of Twin Twister. And that's pretty much it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will catch you guys again next time.